Good morning, y'all. Welcome to Morning Queen Inspirations. I am at work. I could not do my um, get up early, go to the gym, walk around the parking lot. I had to come to work early, and that's okay. Sometimes, you know, things in our life change, but we still keep the main thing the main thing. Hey, that could be the topic for this morning. Keep the main thing the main thing. Just because things change in your life, for good, for bad, for indifferent, whatever, however you see it. Change isn't always bad. Even even the Bible says um, all things work together for the good of those that love the Lord and are called according to his purpose. Even in that, we still have changes. So those changes are going to work out for your good. Believe it. Trust it. Trust God on today. Trust God this morning. I trust God this morning. I'm grateful for who God is in my life. I'm grateful for who he has been in my life. And I'm grateful that he's in my life and he is my life. Like I could not imagine my life without the Lord, even though I'd be wanting to do some stuff that is going to cause the Lord not to be in my life like I need him to be. <laughs> but that sense comes back into your head like, whoa, Nelly, calm down. Do you know who God is? Like, do we? Do you know who God is? Like, he's really for real good. He's the good, good father that we sing about so often. And he is, I like how John Hanna, when he prays, he says that God is the leveler. I believe that's the right word. Or he levels mountains and he brings up valleys. That is so powerful to me. That is so powerful to me because oftentimes we find ourselves in those valleys. And oftentimes we find ourselves in front of a mountain. And a mountain is not a hill. It's not something that you can walk up easily. A mountain has a lot of crevices. It has grooves. It's unlevel. It's very high. It's steep. The mountain has animals that live there, animals that can hurt you. Some parts of the mountain... Um, like the top of the mountain, you can freeze to death. And on your way up there, you can freeze to death. Um, some mountains are volcanoes. Like, and you mean to tell me that even though this mountain is in my way and it's impossible for me to climb it, that God can level that. And he even said, if we have that faith that we can say for this mountain to go, be cast out into the sea, and it will. Like we have faith and we have power to do so much, but and I'm talking about me. But when we be when we become overcome with the issues of the world and the issues of ourselves, it's like we don't recognize the power that we really have. And if we are not consistently and constantly in the Word of God, which is our our power source, our source, our food, our nourishment, we're gonna be depleted. And most times when you deplete it, you find yourself on your way to being defeated. So um, just stay in the word of God. Stay in prayer. Even in the hardest of the hardest of times, keep praying. Stay, um, stay in the face of God. Stay in the face of God. Stay in the place of God. Don't lose your posture. Easy to say. It's easy to say, but if we just, I mean, we're going to go through stuff, but if we just get into the habit of not leaving from where we are, it won't be as hard as we make it. Because I know if I've stayed in the place where I was, this issue test would not have been as hard, but we also have to go through things. And when we're going through stuff, it's not always just about us. So I know what I'm going through now, I'll be able to help somebody else. And I'm cool with that. I don't like going through it, but I'm cool with that. But I also am going to remind the person immediately, where are you? Are you still plugged into your source? Are you still reading the word of God? Are you still in the face of God? Are you still crying out to God? Even when it hurts, are you still crying out to God and telling him that this hurts? I don't like this. This is help me. And sometimes that's all you can say, y'all. One of my favorite scriptures, I believe it's Psalms. Uh, if it's my favorite, I should know, right? 
but I believe it's Psalms 42 and 1. But as the deer panteth after the water brook, so panteth my soul after you, O God. And I heard that scripture yesterday, and y'all, I just broke down because I'm like, Lord, I, I have you, but I am so desperate for you. Like, I need you. I need God more than I need this job, more than I need this sweater on because it's a little chilly, more than I need my apartment, um, more than I need my rent for next week. I need God. Like, I'm nothing without him. I don't have anything without him. So I just wanted to remind you guys to stay plugged into your source. Um, stay in the face of God. Even when you're going through your hardest and even when it is the happiest of times, at all times, acknowledge him. He will direct your paths. He will. Um, stay plugged into your source. Read your word. Read books of God. Um, pray. Worship. If it's hard for you to pray, find some, listen, go to John Hanna. Um, he has his 4 a.m. prayers on YouTube. Turn that on something or just sit quiet god speaks when it's quiet he speaks period but sometimes we can't hear because we got too many thoughts going on there's just too much going on just get into that quiet space and just be quiet till your mind to quiet till your body to quiet till your emotions to quiet and just sit there in the face and in the place of god and just listen he'll talk to you He'll come for you. I promise you he will. All right, I love y'all, and y'all have a great day today. Reach out to me. Give me that great big old queen, queen inspirations hug. <laughs> I love y'all. God is good. Thank y'all for um, your support. Like, love, subscribe, and share. And thank y'all for rocking with me, all right? Love y'all.